This is a great opportunity. Um, so um, I'm going to introduce the the, the, the project that uh, where, where I'm, I'm involved since many years. Uh, that is uh, the European Mouse Mutant Archive. That now is called Infra Frontier Repository. Infra Frontier and uh, is is uh, is um, one of the major repositories, bio repositories in the world. And uh, so I'll try to uh, balance the state of art and perspectives for the for the future. So, uh, talking about uh, the, uh, my, 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 my institution, the National Council of Research, um, we are based uh, in, uh, in uh, near Rome, in the northern Rome, and is an international research infrastructure that uh, develops uh, uh, more than 3,000 square meters of animal facilities, uh, modern ones, uh, and they're equipped with, uh, with uh, uh, barriers, uh, and probably is the largest capacity in Italy with the highest sanitary and genetic quality standards. Uh, so uh, we, we develop uh, um, production, processing, quality control of bank strains, uh, and the, the EMA node in Montreton has been the long history of developing and delivering uh, EU international education and training in lab animal science, sky biology, and new advanced technology, including basic uh, to advanced courses for scientists, students, and technicians. Uh, we have even a, a, a nice platform for advanced in vivo imaging. Uh, um, so even Neil, uh, that you heard just uh, a few minutes ago, is, is in the campus and belongs to the MBL uh, uh, institution. So the, the, this is the newborn uh, mouse clinic uh, that, um, so Steve uh, already talked a lot about this uh, uh, beautiful original uh, process and project. Uh, um, um, the mouse clinic uh, that the National Research Council has built and nearly to be activated in the, in, in the campus. Uh, 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 as uh, already obtained, uh, achieved important, important international recognitions, uh, and uh, so the aim of this uh, this project is to study the genome of mice is a key to understanding the human diseases, uh, and has been uh, admitted to the International Mouse Phenotyping Consortium. Uh, the plan is to inaugurate soon, by the end of this year, the, the clinic can get uh, permits and authorization by the, by by mid of next year, so 2022. Uh, is the only Italian infrastructure uh, to participate to this prestigious network, and this is organized with several laboratories. And as you can see, part of the European Mouse Mutant, uh, Mutant Archive is, uh, is uh, an internal process, like the laboratories of crowd preservation, uh, assisted reproductive technologies, and health monitoring and genotyping. And obviously, um, as defined by the pipeline uh, presented by, by Steve, viability and fertility tests are part of the, of the pipeline uh, where the, the new mutants uh, uh, are, uh, will be processed and uh, described as a phenotyping process. So, um, in 1949, uh, the first uh, bull sperm was preserved for the first time by a team of scientists led by Christopher Polch. And uh, uh, in, in 1972 uh, was the year when the first mammalian embryo was frozen. This is this picture uh, clearly identified this uh, this uh, beautiful moment. It was a, a milestone in the story, a milestone in, in the process, and this led to a much wider use of a cryo preservation today, with many organs, tissues, and cells routinely stored at low temperatures. Um, uh, even the in vitro fertilization was efficiently uh, reconstructed and uh, developed. Uh, efficient protocols for sperm freezing came uh, later. Uh, cryobiology is the branch of biology that studies the effects of low temperature on living cells, uh, living things uh, in the atmosphere and the science. Um, this picture uh, collects uh, Stanley Libo, Peter Mazur, and David Whittingham who were the, the, the protagonists of this action that uh, uh, represent the first example on, on the story of this, uh, of this in the field. So the milestone collected different kind of example, uh, starting from the 1949, but even the, the following years, uh, starting from uh, 1957 up to 1990, more and more development uh, methods and uh, processes has been uh, realized, has been uh, um, achieved, especially uh, related to um, 
um, improvements in the mitral fertilization, embryo cryopreservation, preservation, and even uh, the uh, sperm cryopreservation preservation up to uh, the embryo vitrification. For, oops. For what concerns the embryo preservation, the, the method uh, still widely used is the one published by Renard Babinet in 1984 that is very simple, effective, and used by a number of repositories in the world, and we, which have a good, uh, even a good stability. And this is, the, this is uh, used everywhere, is one of the most important ones. For what concerns the sperm cow preservation, um, the, the achievements up to the end of last centuries were not effective, were not effective enough. And more and more methods uh, has been developed uh, later on, uh, starting from 2008 by the group, uh, uh, led by Ostermeyer and uh, Rob Taft at Jackson Laboratory. And then the achievement uh, uh, introduced by Toru Takeo and Omina Kagata at the Kumamoto University uh, from 2008 up to 2012, and even uh, recently in the last few years. Today, uh, sperm cow, mouse sperm cow preservation is effective with a broad variety of strains, in particular, the most important strains used for making mutants, uh, as described by Neil, is a simple, simple, efficient, and widely used. And uh, the, the majority of our uh, strains banked or carved in our repositories are composed by sperm, uh, sperms, uh, germplasm, and sperms. So even in vitro fertilization has been developed and uh, um, major progress uh, has been achieved uh, by, by the, the same authors. Uh, and now even the, this uh, methodology and technique are widely used and spread and very optimized and uh, widely used. So this has, uh, has led uh, the major centers, but even uh, single laboratories institution to, uh, uh, to build up an integrated system that include embryo sperm cow preservation, even uh, including the importation or exportation, shipping, and storage of, uh, of germplasm and uh, mutant strains that are, uh, are related to uh, through the embryo transfer to uh, maintain and uh, um, uh, reanimate colonies from frozen stocks and ship. Uh, this paradigm that uh, uh, were valid since uh, for many years since uh, since ten years ago now has been substituted by this one. So, um, uh, talking about on what uh, uh, evidently introduced by 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 Luis, uh, you can see from this slide that more most of the materials, most of, most of the strains travels. By frozen as a frozen stocks and uh, the light colonies uh, uh, shipment has been reduced during the year. More, more than eighty percent of stocks uh, are uh, travels and has been shipped uh, by using the frozen stocks or refrigerated stocks. For what concerns the uh, European Mouse Mutant Archive, uh, is a service uh, that is commonly used by the scientific community and uh, linked uh, providers and researchers uh, that deposit uh, the, the mutant mouse lines and their data in them with uh, recipients, so interested researchers that request mutant mouse lines from them. Um, the services that has been provided uh, are animal archiving, uh, with the selected, uh, uh, by the selected EMMA nodes uh, that imports the submitted mouse lines uh, through the cryopreservation and derivation up to the mouse train distribution. E, uh, all the data uh, that are linked to the strains uh, are curated and uh, um, archived uh, together with the mouse line. And researchers are informed about them. So this is a, a, a value and an added value for, for, for scientists. So, uh, so far, uh, the current preservation possibilities are still limited since uh, the, this challenge, so the, the freezing of, ger of uh, mammalian germplasm, has only been met, met successfully for cell suspensions and several relatively simple tissue systems as embryos of ovaries and gametes. And this, in this slide are listed the, 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 the possibilities that we, we have reasonably now for in the world. And, um, above all, um, even the fact that we can keep cells and germplasm in, in our tanks uh, are not under 
uh, under and uh, are safe, but not completely, since there are um, they suspected that the letter change can be held in the long run. Uh, but this suspect probably is related more with the, the assisted reproductive technology, in particular with the system that we do IVFs. Take into account that uh, uh, has been estimated recently that um, uh, roughly 5% of newborn have some syndromes related to the artificial insemination and artificial uh, conditions in which uh, German, uh, we maintain and generate the new uh, embryos. So uh, the role of cooling grace during care preservation uh, con con can be summarized in the two different philosophies. And uh, uh, there are two different kinds of, uh, of freezing process. So one is called equilibrium cooling and the second one, non-equilibrium cooling. They differ from, uh, uh, for, for different kinds of uh, aspects, are uh, completely different process. Uh, the differences uh, are, uh, the major differences are related to the CPA concentration, so the cryoprotective agents that we use during the freezing process that protect the cells and sperm from the damages uh, caused by the, the, the freezing, the ice and the freezing um, activity, the freezing elements, and then the cooling rate that range from 0.5 degrees per minute up to 1,000. A, uh, even the equilibrium, non equilibrium cooling, uh, that is a process that is called, uh, uh, commonly called vitrification, uh, is uh, equally uh, efficient uh, as, we have, as we do for uh, non equilibrium cooling process. So the, the, the process are um, completely equal from, for, for the performances. And whilst uh, the slow freezing, uh, uh, the hydrated cells, for the dehydratation of cells uh, continuously, the vitrification immediately uh, process the, the film and the cells up to a state of vitrified solution. And this is the major difference. There are pros and cons related to this two kind of uh, uh, process for, for freezing. And uh, for example, the equilibrium freezing is more robust and less risk of damage during uh, transport and transfer. And it is the simplest method for capital preservation recovery. On the other hand, it requires a special equipment. So the red control freezer, um, in which uh, that has been presented by Neil. The vitrification, uh, um, uh, not requires the um, the the, red, the control the red fees and not, not equipment that requires, but is more sensitive to temperature fluctuations and non is not uh, adapt for beginners, for example. For what concerns the advantages of our capital observation, uh, um, we can describe them in three uh, chapters. Uh, one is the security safety. So, uh, car preservation can save lives uh, against loss, uh, for example, for limitation of the reproduction, for contamination. So, freezing cells and freezing uh, uh, germplasm and lines avoid and eradicate uh, the major uh, pathogens that affect the murines, murine, the, the mice and rats. Uh, um, is uh, safe for, for disease, accident, and, and reproductive failure. On the welfare point of view, is a huge research of savings and the significant long-term animal savings. Uh, from a scientific uh, pattern, um, it stops uh, genetic uh, the, genetic, the um, genetic drift and provides a genetic archive. And uh, it can conserve uh, the pool of available mouse strains forever in the liquid nitrogen tax. Uh, in the long run, uh, uh, um, especially for the eruption of the CRISPR-Cas9 uh, uh, field, um, the, the mouse biobanks uh, uh, have been put in suspension and uh, in, uh, under questioning mark, especially because uh, <clears throat> Um, so it, it, it's, it's so easy to generate new mouse lines and the, the scientific community uh, asked why it's still necessary to freeze them. Uh, there are many considerations on this, but the, 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 the important thing is the, is the, is the standardized uh, resources that uh, biobanks can provide, but even the, the remaking mice uh, process uh, that affect more laboratories 
And then uh, it can be one of the major damage that can be produced, can be generated within the institutions and laboratories. For what concern Emma, Emma is the third the largest mouse repositories in the world and uh, give to scientists open access to more than 7,600 uh, mouse lines. And uh, uh, concerning the, the scope of the, this mission, high quality health control mice uh, with a fine and verified genotype can be provided by the, this, uh, uh, this archive. Oh, uh, uh, above all, uh, Emma can ship globally and uh, the network is, is, is fantastic and um, more, more and more information and experience can be exchanged by uh, different partners. Uh, uh, Emma is shared in uh, 16 Emma centers uh, in the 13 European countries with a one, only one centralized web portal. Right now, Infrafrontier that incorporate EMMA, European Mouse Mutant Archive, plus the archive uh, phenotyping centers uh, that are linked to the MPC uh, network, uh, is composed by 29 partners in 15 counties. As you can see from in this slide, uh, is uh, spread in, uh, in two continents, uh, uh, American, uh, so Canada and Europe and Israel, and uh, in 15 countries. The Frontier Research Infrastructure, uh, providing a unique scientific resources, uh, services, and expertise, uh, it, um, therefore uh, make an advantage for institutions uh, for giving information for human disease uh, using rodent models that are quite evident, relevant in the, as a scientific part of the pattern and in the field. So, um, talking about uh, resources and services, uh, uh, they range for uh, in, in archiving and distribution of these lines, uh, systemic phenotyping, uh, specialized services like germ-free, uh, mutant lines provided by the network, uh, up to model development, uh, training resources, and data uh, providing centers and data curation. Uh, talking about the shipping destinations, there, there were in, the, in, the, in the, this beautiful experience seven, 700 unique destinations and many, many shipments uh, has been fulfilled in, in, the, in the story in the world and worldwide. And even uh, destinations are fulfilled. As you can see, not only Europe are fulfilled by shipments, but even uh, other continents, uh, the Asiatic ones and American ones. Uh, publications are relevant uh, in, in the last uh, 30 years, uh, almost uh, more than 2,500 publications for both on strength to mission strength request has been uh, released, uh, even uh, very relevant uh, on cells, nature genetics and natural publications. Oh, uh, there is a strong growth in the first half of 2021 and still increasing, and there is a, there were even a logarithmic expression of uh, uh, of the size of the archive. The, the, the recently, uh, probably because of the eruption of the um, uh, COVID pandemic, uh, they may they convinced many scientists and institutions to stop working and to freeze the strains in the archiving and, this, and secure them to in the in the, the, the network of archiving. As you can see, the, the, the same goal achieved in the last, in 2020 and 2019, has been achieved in, the, in the less more than the fa half of the time that has been achieved previously. And even the submission uh, community to Emma uh, reveals high interest in archiving centers, especially uh, in, the last, in the last year. For even the request uh, um, that was uh, uh, flexed, uh, uh, it was a decrease um, in, the, in the last three, three four years. Uh, now it seems to be uh, increased again, thanks to this new achievement, uh, thanks to the, the fact that probably uh, the major uh, institutions, community use uh, more and more the strains. For what concerns the field of disease, the field of investigation, we have three major now tasks, two actually, and one is, uh, it depends on the, on the, on the pandemic, but uh, the major uh, field of interest are rare diseases and cancer. 
Uh, rare diseases uh, uh, list uh, 1,397 rare diseases related to MS strains uh, and the cancer, uh, mouse strains genetically as are associated with uh, 50 different cancer types uh, with phenotypic description of mouse models. Even, even uh, talking about the COVID-19, 40 MS strains are associated with SARS-CoV-2 and other coronavirus pathologies. Uh, this reveals a broad range, a uh, broad range, a uh, broad range of uh, intervention of uh, the uh, the strains that are archived in the in the EMA, in the EMA repositories, uh, and reveals a uh, uh, um, different kind of pattern, uh, different kind of uh, activities that can be searched by 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 scientists uh, uh, all around the world. For what concerns the new perspectives and strategies, uh, I can say that we have uh, different kind of novelties. For example, we are working on frozen stocks uh, and uh, um, in, in, uh, in one way we have some prototype uh, to replace the liquid nitrogen, the uh, original and uh, well-used uh, uh, liquid nitrogen tank system. And this uh, means that more and more labs can be involved uh, uh, that don't, don't have access to liquid nitrogen uh, um, uh, uh, paradigm. Uh, and uh, uh, this, is, uh, this is an estimation of uh, uh, roughly 70-80% of labs that not used, uh, not used to freeze uh, uh, strains, not use the network of repositories uh, and can be uh, can benefit of this uh, uh, of the use of fridge or super freezer to stocks uh, frozen mouse uh, the stocks uh, uh, new lines uh, and the, uh, the gems. From uh, the ethical point of view, uh, Luis already uh, gave you an overview of, of the of the of the of this uh, of this process. Uh, uh, but taking into account that re replacement, uh, so the, the freezing is a complete replacement, and the automation will give us uh, the major opportunities to um, to get more informations uh, during the day and uh, 24 hours per day, and uh, even. Uh, in, in uh, when the scientists are not uh, uh, involved in the experimental processes. Um, of course, uh, we are even, uh, we would like to implement the MPC pipeline, the pipeline of fertility and reproduction filers, not only with the natural uh, fertility, but even in vitro, uh, implementing with the in vitro fertility and even with the uh, more molecular studies uh, uh, related to uh, molecular um, patterns and even the membranes ones. Uh, we are working even in implementing the new scaffold technologies for assisted reproductive technologies. That's because uh, there is uh, all, uh, always uh, the suspect that this the, the, the silico uh, environment can affect the not only the fertility, but even the embryo development. And of course, we are involved, as you can already prove in this uh, course, uh, in the global training educational programs. So the idea is to, is to spread these courses, as uh, Serena pointed out and Andres pointed out uh, just at the beginning of this uh, course, uh, to uh, the developing countries that are, uh, are um, um, affiliated to the CGB, uh, network, and uh, we would like to uh, um, continuously give rise of the courses, update them, and give a state of art for the following years. Uh, for what concerns the, um, the witness of uh, our work, this is uh, some references uh, that uh, uh, are related to the work has been done here, and they are major uh, impact on the, the super freezing process, um, uh, process and, and the freezing activities related to the substitution of liquid nitrogen tanks. Uh, I would like to thank you all the groups, especially the technical working group at the, at the, at the Infra Frontier and EMA level, and even the people involved at different level in the different nodes and the, the, the network. So thank you for your attention.